Welcome to Thinking Biblically. This is the 29th day of October in the year of our Lord, 2023. I'd like to talk about uh, the social responsibility of social media a bit. And uh, because social media is increasingly running afoul of governments throughout this world, even in the United States. I Did I read that? I just read the headline. Some 40 states, perhaps, maybe not that many, were suing Meta over corrupting children. See, the problem is, well, one of the problems is that, uh, first of all, Western civilization is in a state of collapse because it's rejected moral foundations, and it's rapidly disintegrating uh, into a, a cesspool of immorality and vice and just moral corruption. It cannot stand. It's in its final death rows. And then you have some very strange places like California, which have completely disintegrated. Uh, one must wonder, of course, the people that, that live in Silicon Valley are isolated from the reality of California, apparently. If, if what we see on YouTube is any of, of residents that, have, for example, have returned after 10 years to visit their uh, the, the, the cities of their youth, for example, and we see videos about they're just astonished at the decay that is California today, that it is a, a, a failed state in all reality. And dystopian, uh, while the, the authorities talk about their green revolution and all these idealistic plans and that they think they can legislate into existence out of thin air, uh, meanwhile, their, their entire state is collapsing into abject poverty because you can't have all these programs and benefits and everything else while you're being flooded with immigrants, illegal or not. It doesn't make a difference. You're being flooded with people that come here basically in poverty. They don't have any resources of their own. You've been flooded with homeless because of all your programs. They come. Homeless people are not stupid. They know where the nice weather is and where the benefits are. So you create a, an attraction for homelessness, and uh, you, you do not enforce laws. You do not uh, punish behaviors that are destructive to society. Uh, you, in fact, reward behaviors that are destructive to society, and you reap what you reward, which is the disintegration of California. Uh, and then you have social media, who is has the same kind of cultural mindset that is evident in the West and particularly in the left coast of the West uh, that contributes to all kinds of problems, the embracing of wokeism as uh, a system of morality, which it's not. Uh, at the same time, you, you, you condemn racism, but wokeism is nothing but racism. It is group identity, identity politics, identity guilt, identity punishment, identity virtue based on the color of your skin or ethnic group or whatever, or sexual practice group, all kinds of strange things where uh, what always has been in human society recognized as moral perversions and moral decadence that results in the decay of society, uh, you reward and punish anybody that criticizes it as being socially destructive. And you fail to recognize that the vast majority of this planet is not secularists. They are not Western. They are not Enlightenment, which is passe now, or post post um, um, modernists, they're not insane, which is what most postmodernism is. It's insanity. It's moral insanity. It's civilizational insanity. It is the death throes of civilization. Once you reach that stage, the civilization is finished and will be replaced one way or another because it cannot endure. Uh, 
and the corruption, Western corruption, is not simply in the United States or Europe. It is also dominates places like Japan. The worst elements, and it actually is uh, endemic in China. Capitalism and the, the, the loss of all mo uh, moral virtue is gone in China. Uh, building tofu cities, things like that, is, is Western corruption. In fact, communism is a Western ideology, an anti-capitalist Western ideology. And cap the, the corruption of capitalism controls social media. You would think people that were so enlightened would understand they are totally dominated by capitalist desires for accumulation of money and dominance and uh, corporate empires, the pursuit of wealth, regardless of its destructive effects. Talk about environmentalism. Capitalism is a terrible system when it comes to preserving God's creation because of the continuous generation of appetite for more and more material goods, which is the engine that fuels capitalism. You'd think some of these people on the West Coast would have would understand this, but no, they don't. They don't. They are the problem. So when you create systems that are reinforcing of the basest impulses of humanity, fall on humanity, uh, before I get into that, let, let me point out about secularism. The vast majority of the world is not secular, and Christianity of its sort and Islam dominates the religion of the world as far as numbers. I realize that Buddhism or Hinduism is fairly high too, but it is very local. As far as global religions, Christianity and Islam dominate. And you ought not offend Christians and Muslims deliberately because they outnumber you vastly. You, you cannot be a social media and talk about social values and community values and be anti-Christian and anti-Islamic. Because Christians and, and Muslims share common values, especially common social values, like family, like justice, like honor due to God. And you want to spread yourself all over the world and spread this aberrant, Western, left coast morality that's not morality at all. And you wonder why people get upset with you and ban you. You don't realize that you are the oddballs in this world. Zuckerberg is an oddball. Gates is an oddball. All these people are oddballs. They're not part of the vast majority of human society. Just to be living in America is to be strange. This does not represent the, the majority of the globe, nor does Europe. Europe has gone completely insane. They, just like America, which led the parade, they've cut themselves off from the foundations of their society, which were based in Christianity, civilizational Christianity at least, not genuine New Testament Christianity, but uh, a, a system of religion that is connected with Christianity. <laughs> and they are disintegrating rapidly before our eyes. Now, this disintegration has not been going on too long, but it is reaching its climax right now. Postmodernism is the death throes of the West, when things have gone completely insane, when you can no longer say 2 plus 2 equals 4, you are insane, when you can't realize that God made man and woman, and there's two genders, you've gone completely insane. You've lost touch with objective reality. You've lost touch with God's creation. And the vast majority of this planet believes in God. The vast majority. 
that we might not all have the same ideas of God, but we believe in a creator. We believe in God. You are the oddballs. And yet, you would seem to want to censor everybody else. You don't believe in freedom of speech. Your community values are not the community values of the world. California is the land of the strange and oddballs, the fruits and the nuts, which grow in abundance there. So it's, you have to be socially responsible. Otherwise, sooner or later, you're going to get shut down. You're going to be regulated. You're going to be put out of business. You have to change your business model, first of all, because capitalism itself is an incredibly moral, morally corrupting system because the love of money is the root of all kinds of evils. It corrupts your content. And produ people produce things. When, when you are monetizing people's content, there's, there's two avenues of, of monetary corruption in social media. One is paying creators for their content. So then people start producing content that appeals to the local, uh, the lowest common denominator. They produce and is inoffensive. They produce 24-hour live, live streams of kittens, things like that. I know how I could get con millions of views. I've got nine chickens. I can produce 24-hour, four-view live streams of nine chickens. They're attractive chickens. They're beautiful chickens, but they're chickens. And that will go on YouTube. That's an indictment of YouTube. See, it, it's an indictment of the viewers of YouTube, too, that that's what they prefer. See, that's like uh, what is corrupted television is appealing to the lowest common denominator, appealing to what people want to see rather than what they should see. There is morally responsible programming, and then there's not morally responsible programming. That which appeals to, to the desires of the flesh, the Christians would say. Your base instincts, uh, that is, attracts, attracted by uh, the love of money, the, uh, riches, and sex. Those are the big ones. Mammon and sex of all forms. Uh, prurient issues, things that people are attracted to, what excites them. M might, it may not be what they practice, but they're excited, they find it exciting to watch. Violence, murder. The biggest purveyor of murder uh, in this world is uh, Hollywood. And I'm generalizing, using the word in a general aspect, because most movies aren't done in Hollywood, Hollywood anymore, but uh, popular entertainment appeals to the to the uh, you know the the kind of you, the, when you see a car accident you want to look at it the desire to see things like that that are not what we should focus on sexual deviant behavior how often do you show a married couple in bed together you don't show that because it's married couples generally don't want to exhibit that either. But you show behaviors that, that are corrosive to Christian values and Muslim values and uh, Hindu values and all values of the vast majority of the world. You push those things forward. You yourselves have become a corrosive influence, plus the, the role of money in this and advertising and everything else corrupts you. Money corrupts. You need to restructure your business model if you're going to survive. You cannot be corrosive of, the, this, of society. And society is what has existed for 6,000 years. And society that does not have a, a root in transcendentally revealed truth is unstable. The, the Enlightenment 
is unstable because it is nothing but the opinions of men. That's why it has degenerated into wokeism. Identity morality, whatever that is, degenerated into injustice because injustice is always individual and justice is always individual because we are human beings. We are individuals. We are not groups. We are not identity groups. We are not races. We are individuals. And the corrupting element of money is almost insurmountable, both by paying people to produce content that appeals to the, the base, the common, the least common denominator, and p based on the number of views they get, it's obvious to get views you can produce something foolish, something silly, something uh, purient, voyeuristic. American society, American society, popular American culture is utterly corrupt and it corrupts the world, which is causing a lot of problems around the world. That is one of the root causes of 9-11, if you didn't know. So your business model's wrong. It can't be based on the desire for maximum corporate profit. Already you're trying to force people, almost force people, because of your very intrusive advertising that's gotten far worse on YouTube. Very intrusive advertising, so you gotta pay $13.99 a month to escape that. That's almost like holding it ransom. You have to go more to a utility model where you are a forum for discussion. And the content would be better if the content creators weren't paid. So they did it out of true interests not the love of money. They did it in, in the public interest, unpaid. It doesn't cost hardly anything to produce content, serious content, because it's about what you're saying. It's not about mere appearances. Ideas are much more important than foolish entertainment which just wastes people's time and results in the degrading of society. I would be willing to pay so much a month, not just to be free of the advertising, but for a platform that was devoted to these kind of principles, that was not consumed by capitalist motivations or socialist motivations or anything like that, but rather functioned as a neutral platform with standards that were based in law and uh, common human global sentiments, traditional values, like most of the Ten Commandments, for example, and the, the necessary parts of society, like families, so things that are that are destructive of families, destructive of peace, destructive of society, to not permit them, but people advocating violence, advocating uh, 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 forms of sexual activity that are destructive of families, that are contrary to, to obvious purpose that we have sexuality. We are, the vast majority, again, believe that there is a creator that has created us, the vast, vast majority of this planet. And when you censor people that have opinions that are consistent with the vast majority of the world, well, you're suppressing civilization. You're suppressing normal values. You're suppressing the community values of the world. In, in favor of special interests, special interest groups that 
historically have been regarded as uh, not desirable for the flourishing of civilization by the vast majority of the world, by the, the dominant religions of the world that are still dominant. You need to change your ways or other platforms will take your place. I have not been particularly thrilled with Rumble or Odyssey or the other available platforms, Gab or certainly not Trump's nonsense, because their commitment to free speech, there has to also be restraint. Freedom has to be bounded. Absolute freedom is a disaster. We need bounded liberty, but liberty to discuss important subjects in a serious way has to be protected and cannot be driven by the fear of people at YouTube because of their, their personal fear of uh, whatever is facing society because the authority figures are often ignorant and foolish and con themselves controlled by moneyed interests. like international health agencies or the CDC, to think they are unbiased, objective agencies is just ignorance. That's not how things work in the real world. And if there is no contrary voices allowed, then these agencies have no checks and balances at all. You're creating a global dictatorship of information. And the sources of information are biased by their very nature. So, will social media change or will they be reined in by various governments? Will they return to their original ideas? Again, I think most people would be willing to pay a, a small amount of money, a reasonable amount, for considering the technology is not very expensive, for content that was better and represented uh, people's voices, intelligent people, moral people's voices, responsible people's voices in a better way, on a better platform, and didn't cater to the worst vices of humanity, the desire to be entertained and lead meaningless, useful lives focused on your media living in a sci-fi world of virtual reality rather than interacting with real human beings in the real world. Social media is not social. And interactions on social media are not person-to-person -person real interaction. And because of a certain uh, anonymous nature of things, that caters to people's willingness to not control themselves. I think uh, people having to post things under their own name, their own identity, might be a step forward. It might result in more responsible behavior. But we need a an attitude in this, in the United States in particular, in this world, in the West, that people have the right to express themselves and their views, lawful expression, reasonable expression, expression that's consistent with human values, universally acknowledged, without fear, without fear of censorship. 
and stop report or rewarding the basest behavior of human beings. The, a kind of programming that has, and advertising that has absolutely zero social value. Talk about junk food. Social media is the worst example of junk food. No value in the content. Only wasting people's time and life. We only have a certain amount of time in this world. You're wasting it. You're addicting people to garbage. Garbage is not healthy food. <laughs>